In this video, I'm gonna go into the pros and cons of my experience using the AI video clipping software called Opus. You can learn more about their product on their website at opus.pro. If you don't know me, my name is Sean Boyce and SaaS is my world. It's my mission to prevent good ideas from becoming bad software. You can learn more about me on my website at nextstep.io or by connecting with me on LinkedIn. I've also got a free email course, which walks you through my process of how to build software like this. If you'd like to sign up, feel free to do so at the link in the description below. Let's start by defining what Opus is. Opus is an AI video clipping tool that promises to take your long form videos and turn them into shorter form clips with the potential to go viral in a single click and 10 times faster than any other method. The point of this video is to see whether or not Opus can live up to this hype. So who is the Opus software for? Well, on their website, they claim to be, quote, loved by one plus million creators. Their promise is to help you post top quality content in the form of digital shorts to gain more views and fans. They also talk about this helping you accelerate your growth and monetization. At the moment, this category feels B2C and is still relatively broad. I think it speaks to potential future opportunity to niche down into different categories. Opus is aiming to solve the problem of how much time, effort, and money may go into producing high quality short form video clips that you can use to promote your longer form content. They hope to be able to completely automate this process for you. I could see creators and video production studios getting a lot of value from a tool like this if it can deliver on its promise. The specific promise made by Opus right on their homepage is to create 10 viral clips from one long video 10 times faster. I like these numbers and the way it's laid out. Let's see whether or not it can actually do it. Once you get logged into Opus software, you can get started with the process by pasting a link to your video from various sources like Google Drive or even YouTube. Once you do, Opus will pull in some metadata like visuals and length, ask you for preferred settings before moving forward. It's here you can choose to set things like clip length or filter by keywords. Next, you simply press Get Clips and the software will go to work. A screen pops up that shares information with you, like current demand on the system, which for me, unfortunately, always set high even after I upgraded to a paid tier, as well as how long it will likely take to get your clips. In my case, it said about 20 minutes. This was after I upgraded. Before, when I was on the freemium tier, it said over an hour. After you complete these steps, you can go on about your day and the software will email you once your clips are ready for review. The software isn't meant to be used in real time. It needs considerable time to process the clips. Once you get the email notification, you'll log back into the software to review your clips. In my case, the software created 18 different clips and scored each in terms of performance potential. I also tested the ability to connect Opus directly to my YouTube channel and post from within their software, which was really simple and easy to use. The clips can also be edited to your liking and include enhanced capabilities like removing filler words and new beta features like automatically adding B-roll, which is becoming more and more popular commonly used in some of the top performing shorts on platforms like YouTube. Now, you'll have to be patient with them on the B-roll functionality because the clip that I tested that you can see here had some randomly inserted video of some lady. The only way I can really describe it is centrally eating a donut, <laughs> which was completely out of context for what this clip was about. So that needs a little bit more work and development. All right, let's talk about what Opus charges for access to the software. Now they're currently leveraging a free tier or freemium model that they're calling their free forever plan, which provides you with 60 minutes of video processing per month. Their paid plan, which is called Essential, is currently offering two pricing options of either $19 per month or the annual price of what has been reduced from $228 to half off at $114 currently. And that gives you access to 200 minutes per month. Now they also claim to have a pro tier on the way. They're targeting December timeframe, which looks like it will be more designed towards businesses or agencies. All right, let's talk about the results. First, what I liked about Opus. First and foremost, the UX is super clean and simple. It's very easy to get started and make progress. Simply upload or link to your file and go. Now, if you're on the freemium tier, the results might take quite a while, but they're definitely usable. Number two, your ability to produce more content more quickly. Success on platforms like YouTube today requires you to not just create high quality content, but to be able to do so in a decent amount of volume and relatively quickly. And I believe a tool like Opus can help you do that. Now you may need to upgrade to a paid tier to cut down the processing time considerably, but I did compare the 
performance from the clips that were produced by Opus versus the ones that were produced by my video production team. And in some instance, the Opus clips actually outperformed the ones produced by my team. So those results are encouraging. Number three, the ability to automatically add B-roll. Most high-performing clips on YouTube today seem to all have extra video components like B-roll. Now, while I tested this and my results so far weren't great, I believe this is something they will eventually figure out, so I encourage you to stay tuned with regard to that functionality. All right, let's talk about a couple of things I didn't love. First and foremost, your output quality is gonna be heavily dependent on your input. What I mean by this is, in the testing that I did, I included a YouTube link, which made the process a lot easier, but my YouTube videos already had some editing in them. So if you take a closer look, you can see that the clips have some words chopped off because they don't nice and neatly fit into the short form video clip form factor. So you're gonna to have to consider that if you're gonna leverage Opus in terms of automating the creation of your short form clips. Second complaint is about how they're managing the freemium tier. Now, in my instance, when I was testing it, producing the clips for me took over an hour. And one of the hilarious components about how they're managing this experience is the little dashboard that tells you where you are in the queue wasn't going down or staying still. In fact, it was actually going up giving me the impression that I might be sitting here forever or my clips may never be produced. Now, I could see this being pretty polarizing in that some people will either love this, think that it's a brilliant strategy, and it will start converting people into paid rather effectively, or they'll be so frustrated that they'll just rage quit. It'd be interesting to see what those numbers look like. Third complaint is about how long the tool takes. It's not immediately obvious when you sign up for their software, but even if you're on their paid tier, it takes quite a while to get your clips. I uploaded a video that was about 35 minutes in length and it took me over 20 minutes to get my clips. When I was on the freemium tier, it took me over an hour. The fourth component is actually about how they're managing their pricing upgrade page. I think it's probably confusing prospects because there's a lot going on. They have prices listed in months, they have different credit expiration policies, they have the capacity listed in years, and they've also got this super busy GIF on the side of all of that, making that experience potentially overwhelming for prospects. So if I were them, I'd look to probably simplify this quite a bit. So what are your thoughts about the Opus software? If you've used it or have questions about it, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below, as well as which software you think I should review next. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you got value out of it. If you did, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel because it helps support our ability to produce more content like this for you.